let's turn now to the winners of the Swift Hackathon. This year's event was more popular than ever with a record number of entries from across the globe focused on advancing the financial industry. Yeah, that's right. The capital markets are a fast-paced and complex environment. And this year, the teams were challenged to enhance the efficiency and reliability of post-trade processes essential for market confidence and regulatory compliance. The hackathon teams were asked to find innovative solutions to two challenges. The first, to help enhance the speed and accuracy of post-trade processes. And the second, to ensure that data remains private in tokenized trades. So how did everyone do? Well, I'm delighted to welcome Nick Kerrigan, head of innovation at Swift, and representatives from our two winning teams in New York, Gaurav Gupta, distinguished engineer, leader in AI Hub at BNY, the winner of Challenge One, and Bitran Huang, founder and CEO of Secretarium Limited, the winner of Challenge Two. A warm welcome to all of you. Nick, I want to get started with you. Okay, the, the hackathon, the drama was real. Tell us all how it went down. Well, the hackathon is one of the highlights of our year at Swift, uh, and it's super exciting to be able to harness the power of the Swift uh, community together. Uh, this year, we looked at the future of capital markets and how we could enhance the efficiency and reliability of post-trade processes. We had an unprecedented response this year. 79 applicants uh, came into uh, the hackathon and we were super impressed by the innovation and creativity that we saw in the entries of the teams, which reflected the diversity of the Swiss community. Well, let's hear from our winning teams, shall we? I'll start with you, Grav. It's great to have you here digitally in the Cybus TV studio. Uh, tell us a little bit about your journey uh, that you've been on over the past few months. Yeah, thank you for having me. So to take a step back, so first of all, we have a CEO, Robin Wenz, who is a big believer in AI. That led to the creation of AI Hub in 2023, and I'm part of AI Hub at BNY. And then there is a huge investment in talent and partnership with universities like Carnegie Mellon University. Four of our data scientists in a, in a hackathon team are recent MSAI graduates from CMU. And we have this incredible product and operation teams who have the deep understanding of the global financial markets. As Robin mentions, you don't get to be 240 years old by standing still. You have to innovate and keep making meaningful progress. So considering our role in the global financial markets, we are always looking at innovative ways to improve resiliency and efficiency of the markets, and hence our clients. We view the hackathon as an innovative platform that allows us to tackle impactful industry problems. It provides an excellent opportunity to our teams to showcase their creativity and technical capability. In all our AI applications, we go after problems that really matter. And we take deliberate view on understanding the opportunity and what can be done better. This challenge resonated with us because it aligns perfectly with our mission to enhance operational efficiency within the financial industry. We assemble a global team with a range of different skill sets. We had team members in India, UK, and US, and they had background in product, operations, AI, and we spent a lot of time brainstorming sessions within the team, just breaking down the steps of all the post-trade processing, highlighting areas of manual intervention, and evaluating the impact of each of the problems and how latest technologies like AI can help. This multidisciplinary collaboration allowed us to create a comprehensive and well-rounded solution that addressed all aspects of the challenge. Got it. That's a lot of brain power right there. But Tron, I'm curious, how did your team approach the hackathon? Well, the hackathon on, on uh, ensuring privacy to digital asset processing are really sounding you know, in line with what we do because we're a privacy company. Um, and Swift came up with this uh, two weeks hackathon, which is a very short period. And that allows us to align our best engineers you know, in an affordable manner uh, to re-deliver something that we believe is in line with uh, the Swift expectation. And, and Swift is all about operational excellence. So it was for us very motivating to actually uh, join this hackathon. Well, Nick, with so many teams entering this year, what was the process like in, in choosing a winner? How did you get there? Well, as you might imagine, it was quite an intense process. Um, and with 79 applicants this year, we actually changed the process around a bit from previous years. So what we did is we took the 79 into a first stage, and then we shortlisted five 
uh, applicants in each of the two challenges. So it was the five applicants in each challenge that then went forward into this intensive two-week process. And obviously, as you would expect, uh, transparency and fairness were really important in terms of uh, the judging criteria. But certainly, you know, the participants made it a hard job for the judges. Well, it, certainly. And Guava, I want to get it back to you. You overcame really a record number of teams to win. Curious how you got to the solution and how it enhances post-trade processes. Yep, absolutely. So as a key player in the global financial market infrastructure, we see firsthand the challenges and the opportunities in post-trade processing. Given the large volume of trade settlements, even a small percentage of fails have a significant impact to the markets. So we identified a specific pain point within the trade process where automation could make a significant improvement. The presence of 70E narrative in inbound MT543 messages is the single biggest cause of STP or straight to processing failures, and it and had contributes to 20% of all trade repairs. If we zoom out, what we're dealing with here is freeform text and instructions that we need to make sense of. And that is what a typical operator would do. In this case, large language models can make sense of the freeform text and come up with the right actions. As we are dealing with specialized domain, we need to fine tune the model to understand the context and operations actions based on the historical data. So to address this use case, we conceptualize an AI powered decision reapplication engine designed to enhance the STP rate for post-trade custody settlement instructions, specifically targeting the MT543 messages with the field 70E in them. The solution can be scaled to other classes of messages, which have similar narrative field like the MT565s, 199s, 299s. And secondly, for the model to learn more complex outcomes, which can be orchestrated with reasoning using agentic workflows. And outcomes such as integrating the APIs, you can do dynamic data reference lookups and based on more of the data, do more complex reasoning for the final updates. The solution has a lot of potential to cater to use cases where natural language narratives leads to manual actions. Huh. Version, let's, uh, let's talk about your winning solution. It addressed the challenge of maintaining data privacy for tokenized assets. Yes, it's the post-trade processing of a tokenized asset is, um, is involved multiple actors. So, um, you know, there is uh, to, to do this settlement, you need to have different actors getting together and each of them have a specific task to do. And each of them needs to assess uh, some data of this, of this transaction that are sensitive. So you need to keep that protected throughout the process. It's, it's quite challenging to uh, build a technology that they will trust, a technology that they will accept to adopt and, and uh, that work in a way that is um, uh, improving the, their, their operations. Um, for many years, you know, the focus has been on, on blockchain technology, how to actually uh, get actors together around you know, a, a chain. But in the digital asset world of 2024, it gets very fragmented. The assets are on one chain, the payment leg is on other chain, and can be even in, in fiat. So you need to work on this interoperability while keeping the privacy. And this, is, this was really challenging. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we've got a technology that is specifically designed uh, for that. And it was a real pleasure to uh, adapt it to, uh, to this challenge. Yeah, interoperability in privacy. That is, that is the next phase. Thank you so much. And congratulations once again to everyone. And what a hackathon it was. Pleasure having you joined us here today on Cyboss TV. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.